All right, Neil Carlson here with uh, Polk County Sheriff uh, Barb Erdman. So you guys switching crews out right now? No, we're just um, kind of refocusing our search efforts. We're going to continue with the perimeter where we're at currently located here, and then we're just going to branch out a little bit farther north. Okay, so what, it's a pretty good size area, a couple three miles by three miles or two miles? Or... I don't think it's quite that large, okay. but, but we're going we're gonna to focus on the bean field here and the wheat with field here just just to the north um, we're going to continue monitoring the perimeter and um, continue our okay. search efforts w what happens if it gets dark i guess we're gonna take it a little bit at a time here and we're gonna see see how things go no decisions been made what we're gonna do yet okay i'll leave you alone thanks Thank for talking you. all right search continues out here uh, south of winger minnesota for a tony Kruger who went missing on this uh, wednesday afternoon he was being uh, taken up to the hospital complaining about a, a bad shoulder in, uh, at the jail in uh, Crookston. He apparently shoved a deputy, got his vehicle, transport vehicle, high-speed chase, went over to Winger, over to Erskine, Minnesota, and down here south near Winger. And it's believed he's out in this uh, wheat field to the left or in this bean field to the right. All kinds of law enforcement around the perimeter, drones, tracking dog, had a plane going over a while ago. But for now, the search continues. We'll keep you updated if anything new develops. Near Winger, Minnesota, I'm Neil Carlson reporting for inews.tv.